This video is a continuation of a video by Shem Thompson in which he explains the concept of maximum minimum lines as a means to determining the uncertainties in a relationship. Shem leaves you with a maximum gradient and a minimum gradient as shown at the bottom of the screen. Um, but there's a couple things that you still need to be able to do. You still have to be able to find the vertical intercept of the graph and to be able to write the full equation of the line including the uncertainties. We're going to use the data from Shem's video to uh, demonstrate how this is done. In order to determine the y-intercept of the graph, we use a process that you learned in grade 9 using the general equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus b. And since we know the gradients of the two lines, as well as two points on each line, then we can use that to figure out the y-intercept. We really only need one of the two points, and so we're going to use the lowest point on, the, on each line. When we substitute in the coordinates of the lowest point, as well as the slope uh, for the max line, we end up with a y-intercept of negative 14. When we do the same for the minimum line, we end up with a y-intercept of 10. Now this makes sense because a maximum line, which has a steeper slope, should go further down on the y-axis than the minimum line, which has a lower slope. Once we've found the gradient and y-intercept, so the maximum and minimum lines of best fit, uh, then we have to figure out the average of these and determine the uncertainties. The average is calculated by adding the two numbers and dividing it by two. Um, and the uncertainties are found by finding the range of the maximum and minimum by subtracting them and then dividing them by two. Once all these values are found, uh, they're put into the equation of the form y equals mx plus b, where the m and the b are both written with their uncertainties. Finally, I just wanted to point out one extra detail that wasn't quite covered related to uh, lines of best fit and uncertainties. Uh, when you're drawing a line of best fit and you have uncertainties on your data, your line of best fit must pass through the uncertainty bars in order for it to be considered acceptable. For example, if you look at the uh, data points shown on the top left of this page, um, you can see that the line of best fit passes through the boxes for each of the data points. Even though it doesn't come all that close to three of the data points, um, it's still within the boxes, so it would be acceptable. Whereas for the bottom right drawing, it's not acceptable because there's no way to draw a straight line that would go through all the data points. If you ever find that you have a situation like the one on the bottom right, what you should do is still find the line of best fit using the method we've outlined, but discuss that this, fit, this equation might not be a very strong equation because the line of best fit doesn't pass through the uncertainty bars. And you should try and give some kind of explanation as to why this might be the case, uh, which you would discuss when you're discussing the error in the experiment.